Okay, I'm busy with question 3, uh, the general ledger of Conradi traders. And the first account that I'm going to look at is trading stock. Now, trading stock is an asset account. Now, why is that important? Because if it's an asset account, you will put the opening balance on the debit side or the left-hand side. Wherever the plus is for assets, you will put the opening balance. Um, so, I'm going to put the balance brought down um, on the 1st, we're busy with October 2002. Now I'm just going to check on the question what this amount would be. And if I look at the question I will see 15,000 is the opening balance on the first day of October. That means I've got 15,000 rand worth of trading stock um, in my storehouse or in my, in my shop. Okay, that was the first step, putting, bringing down the opening balance. Now we're going to look at the journals. In the journals we see what happened in this specific month um, after, or the, it's basically the same month that you bring down the opening balance. Okay, um, I'm going to look at the CRJ and I'm going to see if I see anything with regards to trading stock. But there's another thing that you must look for when you, when you do the trading stock account and that is cost of sales because when you see cost of sales you always know that trading stock will go together with it. Okay, so trading stock will be credited because we are selling the trading stock. Now to explain it a bit better, if we open a T account over here and we say we've got an asset and we're selling the asset, then the asset becomes less on the credit side for assets. So that is why trading stock will be credited with cost of sales. So 7280, 7280, and the other account is cost of sales because it's the cost of the thing that you are selling, which is the trading stock. We busy in the CRJ number 8, 31st October 2002. That means you are selling the trading stock and the trading stock as an asset becomes less. Okay, that was the first step. So the next one would be we look for physically for trading stock in an, uh, in an account. And we see it here in the CPJ where we are, we are buying trading stock for 6350. Now the first column, the main column will be credited. All the other columns will be debited. So we're going to debit the trading stock with 6350, um, therefore 6350, we're busy with the CPJ number 8, we write the bank and we write there the 1st, 31st, 31st because it's the end of the month. Every time it's a column total it will be the 31st, if it is in the sundry accounts we're going to look at the specific date. Okay, so if it's here in the sundry accounts, right here at the back, then we're going to check which date did it happen. But that is obviously an example for Petty Cash. Okay. Now, so 6350 we put here uh, on the debit side, that means we bought more trading stock. Okay. After, we, after, we've, after we've done the two, um, these two on, on, on the debit side and that transac transaction on the credit side, we're going to look where did we buy more trading stock. And we're going to look in the CJ and we see trading stock here. We bought another 9.5 and we bought it on credit. The first column credited, the next column or trading stock, all the other columns will be debited with 9.5. We put the 9.5 there and we're in the CJ number 8 and we're going to put we're not going to put bank there, we're going to put creditors control creditors control, the reason for that would be because we bought creditors control or we bought the, the trading stock on credit. Next one we're looking here for and we see trading stock in the petty cash and we see it's on a specific date the 12th that we bought the trading stock on the 12th it's 25 rand. So on the 12th it's going to be 25 rand and the main column here is going to be petty cash. Again we bought in this journal first column credited or the other columns 
debit BT cash journal number 8 then again we see cost of sales so if we see cost of sales we know that trading stock goes together with it what happened in the DJ we sold trading stock so my trading stock will be credited with cost of sales 9520 9520 again cost of sales we're busy um, in this case in the DJ number 8 both of these transactions we sold the first one cash and the second one on credit then we look again on the debit side and we see or on the, in the petty cash journal or the debtors allowances journal sorry and we look for cost of sales or trading stock we see cost of sales here cost of sales will be credited the reason is when we give a person discount the trading stock will become more so I'm going to put the trading stock over here 3, 3 and another 3 and that amount that we put in there um, will be for cost cost of sales okay that actually means we we got back the trading stock and we're busy with the DAJ number 8 so we add all of these together we check which side is the most and um, that is um, this side we can see is, is the most but firstly we might have to check if, if there is not another transaction and we see that we've got this uh, CAJ and I see again I see trading stock there for 2000 rand now what happened here um, credit control will be debited the reason for that is it will be debited because the amount that you owe people becomes less because you gave back the trading stock and that's why the trading stock will be credited you're not paying for it anymore so I'm going to put the 2000 on the credit side I'm going to put the creditors control and that is the CAJ number 8 okay so which side is the most I will see the left hand side is the most 34208 I put it on the right hand side again 34208 and then there must be a balance that is still needed here balance carry down and the amount will be 15408 and now everything here adds up to 34,000 okay the debit side was more we bring it down to the left hand side 15,408 that is a balance and that's brought down and it's the 1st of November 2002 okay that is the end of trading stock we can see we've got 15,408 rand worth of trading stock left in our account or in our business